May the Lord Almighty grant me and those I love a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Almighty God, my heavenly Father, I have sinned against you through my own fault in thought and word and deed, in what I have done and in what I have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive me all my offenses, and grant that I may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. It happened some time later that God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. God said, Take your son, your only son, your beloved Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah, where you are to offer him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall point out to you. Early next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey and took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. He chopped wood for the burnt offering and started on his journey to the place which God had indicated to him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Then Abraham said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I are going over there, and we shall worship and then come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering, loaded it on Isaac, and carried in his own hands the fire and the knife. Then the two of them set out together. Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, my son, he replied. Look, he said, here are the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham replied, my son, God himself will supply the lamb for the burnt offering. And the two of them went on together. When they arrived at the place which God had indicated to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he bound his son and put him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of Yahweh the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham, he said, here I am, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy. The angel said, Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me, your own beloved son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham called this place Yahweh the Lord provides. And hence the saying today, On the mountain of Yahweh the Lord, on the mountain Yahweh the Lord provides. The angel of Yahweh the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, Yahweh declares, that because you have done this, because you have not refused, you have not refused me, your own beloved son, I will shower blessings on you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars of the heavens and the grains of sand on the seashore, your descendants will gain possession of the gate of their enemies. All nations on earth will bless themselves by your descendants because you have obeyed my command. Abraham went back to his servants and together they set out for Beersheba and Abraham settled in Beersheba. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacher treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. 
For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, or watch, or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, you Amen. now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 